Good morning. Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim and today on Ramblin's on my second cup of work life coffee. Thank you very much work life for keeping me going here on the ridge on a cold November day. Uh, you guys can tell I've lost my voice. Um, you know, a few days, several days ago, I was fighting a little cold coming on and uh, taking Dayquil and then NyQuil and uh, tested negative for COVID. I, I, I felt fine. And then uh, you guys know uh, Nero went missing. And uh, we have, is, 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 it's been several days now and he's not come back. I check in his doghouse. Uh, every few hours it seems like come out here uh, tater our um, uh, golden retriever rescue he uh he just sitting here he's right behind the camera right now just looking going and we, we tried we took tater out and, and we thought he would show us where nero was because they went everywhere together right if, if 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 they were if they were out together they went everywhere together but uh tater he he, he's just as lost as uh, anybody else. Well, we've done a lot of things and uh, appreciate y'all's concerns, thoughts, prayers. And I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I haven't uh, given you more updates. I haven't uh, put out many ramblings. I haven't put out any since, you know, uh, he went missing that second day. Uh, I haven't put anything out on Ridge Life. I think I've only put out two videos on Ridge Life this month. And I'm sorry for that. Just a lot, lot, lot going on. This is um, a, 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 a tough season. It is a tough season. It's good. It's a good season. There's a lot of good things going on, but uh, it's it's the it's some of these tough ones that uh, make it hard. And I'm sorry. You know, I, I love you guys, and I love getting videos out to you guys, and I'll have more videos coming out. I appreciate your patience. Um, hard to make videos when your voice is like this, you know, when it's normally a lot different. And I don't know if it's coming across on the camera <laughs> the way my voice is. But I, I don't feel bad. It's just uh, uh, I sleep at nighttime and, the, you know, the drainage and all that stuff. Work life coffee with some good Ridge Life honey in it that uh, helps to soothe the throat. One of the reasons my, my voice probably sounds like this is um, my Uncle Sonny came over yesterday. And we hopped on the Kubota, my side by side, my side by side here, and we rode the ridge. We rode up and down the trails, um, looking for sign um, of Nero, um, looking for you know signs of a struggle. Uh, I mean, I know it's kind of morbid, but looking for where maybe coyotes or bobcat would have gotten him. He's an old dog, you know. He's a big dog, you know, 125, 30 pounds. Cane Corso, Italian Mastiff, those, you know, the, the, the Cane Corso means court uh, dog. And uh, in Italy, uh, apparently they were raised to be uh, guard dogs in the courts, in the, you know, the castles and keeps and all that kind of stuff. Exists. That's what I'm told. Uh, but they're court dogs. They're guard dogs. So he's a, he's a formidable beast. Uh, he's older, you know, but he still has a, a roar of a lion. I know Elvis, I miss him too, buddy. And right now, if you could see Bla uh, Tater, Tater's just, he's actually sitting with his back to me, looking into the woods. I don't know, I don't know. But me and my Uncle Sonny, we rode around all day uh, yesterday into the woods, and then uh, we actually uh, were on the side-by-side, -side, and we rode up and down uh, the little county road we live on. And we went through a, um, uh, a cemetery there and uh, we saw one vulture we were looking for vultures we saw one vulture and uh, kind of saw where it came from and everything I and mean, there was nothing there it was a uh, uh, and it's it's cool today it was a little little warmer yesterday um, so I, I we've got an idea well we, we narrowed it down to a few things right um, he just went out and died. A uh, 10 year old large breed dog just went out and died. He got attacked by a predator, a bobcat, a coyotes. What's up there, Tater? 
You can't see Tater. Tater just came up to me. Come up here. Come on. See if you can come up and say hi to the people. Come on. Can y'all see Tater? There's Tater. There's the Tater. Give me a kiss. Come on. You're a good puppy. You miss your brother? You miss your brother? I know you do. I know you do. You so sad? I'm sad too. I'm sad. It's okay. We'll take care of you though, okay? Uh, by the way, T Tater is uh, trained on his e-collar and it's working wonderfully. Um, Grandma Carol got it on him. We got the flags out and uh, um, it was just like that. So he, 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 he's, he's good. And he goes inside at night and he's out in the daytime. And uh, so don't, please don't, you know, don't worry about, about Tater. I mean, things can happen though. Things can happen. But yeah, so just went out and died, old age, predator attack. Another one I hadn't really, I mean, some of y'all had said, and this one is, is starting to lead a little more true. Um, I was given, uh, shared a Facebook community post um, in the uh, neighboring county, just right next to us. Two Cane Corsos missing the same week. Two Cane Corsos missing the same week. And Cane Corsos are, aren't, you know, they're, they're large breed dogs. A lot of people can't handle them. <coughs> expensive to own. Uh, you just don't go find them in uh, shelters. They're huge. They're they're very sought out and uh, expensive to keep, expensive to purchase. And there's a possibility he was stolen. Even though he's been neutered, you know, he's not a breeding animal. People may have not even have, have noticed that at first. They just saw a Cane Corso. And uh, because he had started to roam and I, we didn't, I didn't know about it. Uh, I, you know, I've been going, I'm, I'm back to work. Maybe he didn't like me going back to work because I've been, you know, here for seven months outside petting him you know grandma carol's outside it's getting cooler and uh but he's got it you know he had the beautiful warm dog house and he loved staying in it but he may have been stolen the fact that we're seeing no sign of him tater can't take us to him nobody in the community we've had everybody in a a, a couple mile radius contacted and nobody's seen hide no hair hide no hair of him so, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's tough. It's tough to lose a dog like that, lose a family member. Even Elvis is quiet today. He, 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 he's not even talking to you right now. Just says he misses him. Um, I, uh, I haven't even really been, I took off, you know, the, this week or last half of this week. And I took off all next week, planned on doing a lot of building a lot of hunting and uh <laughs> i only went out hunting uh one time that was yesterday afternoon just for a couple hours i probably shouldn't have done that with you know my sinuses and everything but i just wanted to get out in nature and maybe i'd see nero too you know so i went to a different area on our property um than i have been hunting just to see you know because it was an area uh, between two properties and i thought maybe um i'd see something you know hear his bark or something if somebody captured him and he's in somebody's backyard that's one thing uh, uncle sonny and i did we drove around looking in people's backyards i mean we didn't we didn't like trespass or anything but we were looking and just trying to see if maybe maybe someone had him you know pinned up or uh, chained up you know and we do have a neighbor that has two cane corsos or at least one and uh when we drove by i saw him sitting in the yard and i go that looks just like nero but he's he's a brindle um so it wasn't him, you know, he's a lot younger too. I got Work Life Coffee sending me some more coffee here pretty soon. And actually they're giving me uh, some extra to give away. So I'll be doing a giveaway of Work Life Coffee. Uh, again, appreciate Caleb over there at Work Life Coffee. Thank you very much for keeping me going with the caffeine. I really need it right now, that's for sure. But I appreciate you. Uh, missing the family. Um, Morgan's down in school. Um, he had three tests in college yesterday. And after each one, he contacted me and said, Dad, I did good on this one. Dad, I didn't do too good on this one. Dad, I felt pretty good about the third one. I said, well, I'm just proud of you nonetheless, just for this, you know, 
keep your uh, nose to the grindstone. Um, take every day, day by day, step by step. Don't don't look too far to the future. You'll get overwhelmed. I know that's what I do. And uh, we're just proud of you for taking on this challenge of becoming a civil engineer. And then of course my daughter having two kids and uh, going to try to get, get her master's degree. And then my oldest son, Tyler, um, him and his wife are just working their, their tails off, working six, seven days a week. Um, just wish them the best. Gavin, Gavin's doing amazing. Um, he may end up going to Florida with his dad uh, next week on uh, Thanksgiving break. Um, hopefully he can come spend some time with us over here though on the ridge. Um, I haven't talked to, oh, I actually have. <laughs> um, my sister and sisters and brother, uh, we're in a group text, uh, just us three, four of us, two sisters and a brother. And uh, um, my brother posted a picture of my dad in the Navy and uh, he was like, guess who? And then my sister saw a different person, she saw my dad, of course, saw a different person and it said, I didn't know dad was in the Navy with Tom Cruise. And then we zoomed in on the picture and it looks just like Tom Cruise. Now Tom Cruise is my age, <coughs> Tom Cruise is not my dad's age. We're like, man, Tom Cruise is a time traveler because <laughs> he looked just like Tom Cruise in a uh, Navy, uh, you know, group photo. It's pretty funny. But uh, yeah, me and my brothers and sisters doing well. Dad's uh, doing well, and uh, stepmom. Uh, hopefully, your family is doing well. This is Thanksgiving season coming up. Hopefully, you can uh, enjoy the season. And if you're one of the ones that put your Christmas tree up after. Uh, Halloween, I'm sorry. Thanksgiving, this is Thanksgiving. You can have corn and hay and um, uh, or straw bales and, and pumpkins and uh, you can still leave out the candy corn if you want. Uh, pumpkin pies, this is Thanksgiving. <laughs> I don't know, whatever your tradition is, that's fine. I'm just playing with you. But uh, I, I don't think Christmas starts, uh, Christmas celebration starts till after Thanksgiving. That's just my personal, personal beliefs, okay? Uh, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Uh, Christmas uh, all year round. Leave the tree up. Christmas anytime you want. Halloween or Christmas after Thanksgiving. Let me know what you think. I'm, I'm curious. Kind of Maybe li uplift my spirits with some funny comments. I'd appreciate that. Make fun of me all you want, okay? I, I, I love... I, I, it's funny. I love being made fun of. Be nice, though. Be gentle. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to... Jump on the Kubota here and do another uh, run around. I try not to stay out here too much today because uh, it is still very, very brisk out here. <coughs> but again, I don't feel bad, so don't, don't. Oh, Tim, you, you know, I hope you're feeling better. I don't feel that bad. It's just, it's just sinuses and uh, probably a little bit of stress. You know, a lot of things going on at work, and um, you know, you know, you you worry about your kids, you worry about your family, and uh, you're always just trying to be, you know. Uh, I posted a, a, a picture on Facebook today. I saw an old man sitting, and the, the meme said, you know, uh, uh, one day you'll hunt your last hunt. You know, enjoy every minute of it. And that is so true. And actually, it made me think about my grandpa. I miss my grandpa. He's the first one to ever take me deer hunting. And uh, just very enjoyable times. He wasn't a big deer hunter. Uh, he, he was more of a coon hunter. And uh, squirrel. he took me squirrel hunting and rabbit hunting. But he take me deer hunting. He's the first one ever to take me deer hunting, um, and uh, I just miss him. You know, even he's he's been gone uh, many years now, almost a quarter of a century, and I still miss him. I miss my grandma too. Oh man, she made the best coconut cream pie, and then her pumpkin pie on Thanksgiving. Mmm. Mm. Always love going to grandma's. So. Um, I want to challenge y'all today. Go call your grandma, call your grandpa, tell them you love them, tell them you miss them, tell them um, they mean the world to you. Because just like Nero being gone, you know, your your grandparents can be gone too. And uh, you only get this, you only get this season with them. And uh, you can't you can't let it go by. Pet your dog, hug your grandma, hug your grandpa, tell them you love them. All right, guys, I love every single one of you. Again, I'm so sorry. Um, I haven't been uh, getting much out to you. Uh, just a lot going on, and uh, I'm sure you understand that. But uh, 
There'll be more fun things on the ridge, I promise you. A lot coming up. So, guys, until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day, and go Ridgeline.